I'm Bruce Lorenz, and this show is called Bruce on the Loose. I talk to people in city government, the school system, and the community activities and events. Lily Smith is with us today, and also James Welsh and Abigail Kearns, and Kaylin Davis, the choir director, Wadsworth High School, and three seniors that have been a very integral part of the program. Coach, uh, why don't I talk to you first? Where did you go to college? Sure. So I graduated from, from Wadsworth back in mm -hmm. 2005. I went to um, Anderson University right. out in Indiana. Mm -hmm. And from there, I had my first job in Indiana. It was Crawfordsville um, High School. Was there for four years. And then we moved back. You know, you start having kids, so right, get sure. back to grandparents. And um, Linda McNamara did her last year, and it just kind of all worked out. I did one year at the middle school part-time, and then got the high school job, so. What did you learn in those four formative years? Of college? Of teaching in oh, Indiana. Oh, of teaching. Yes. Oh, man. Yeah, it's, <laughs> uh, you know, teaching, there's so much to it, but you take all the courses in college until you actually are in the classroom and just kind of learn in your own way. Um, I learned a lot. I learned that um, communication is huge, especially when you run a program with other events and extra things. So, um, yeah, lots of stuff. And I did my master's at Kent. Okay. once I got back, so right. that's my education. Do, do, do you get pride in seeing kids sign up for choir maybe two or three years and see their development and maturity? Absolutely, and seeing those kids that don't really have a, you know, a thing, like they're not necessarily a sports guy or they're not a boy scout or whatever it is, and then they find that they love to sing and it's their, it's their thing, it's, it's really neat to see. Abigail, you're a senior at the high school? I'm a junior at Oh, the junior, school. okay. Yes. All right, what has your involvement been in the choir, and then I'll use the big umbrella program? Mm -hmm. So I've been in choir for like my whole life. I would probably say I started in church, doing church choir and stuff. And then I've been part of the high school choir for all of my three years mm -hmm. so far. I was in women's chorus my freshman year, and then I made it into Rhythm in Red um, my sophomore year, and that is what I am in currently. Okay, what uh, is the most, uh, what do you get out of being, let's say, in the women's choir? What did you, did you meet some kids mm -hmm. and form some bonds you yes. never thought you'd get before? Yes, I did. I made a lot of my friends that I still have today in women's chorus, a lot of close friendships. Kaylin, do you also direct and play the piano at the same time? <laughs> I do, yes. Okay. Piano is actually my primary instrument okay. in college. Um, and so a kind of a combo. I have an accompanist for some shows um, or concerts, but yes, the kids see it. When I'm teaching, I'm behind the piano. Uh, WCTV traditionally goes ahead and tapes your performances. And I have to tell you, Joanna and, and the staff here says it's one of the most watched programs that we have. That probably makes you feel very happy. It definitely does. I love the, the, how much the community supports our program. Um, it's neat to see, and especially since a lot of these kids, their families aren't in Wadsworth, so they're able to share WCTV, you know, now that we have all the online streaming um, services. So yeah, it's, it's definitely, it's a good time. We have, what, two, over 200 kids in choir, so we, um, we reach out to quite a few families here in the community. That, that's a good segue to my next question. Oh. What, what are your various choirs called? Okay, so our top ensemble, um, it's a mixed show choir and it's Rhythm and Red, that's these guys. And um, our next, we have three audition groups. So the next is called New Edition. And I would say in a way, it's like a prep group, like the JV group to move into the varsity. And then we also have a unisex women's group that's called Elite Choir. And then my last group, um, we combined men and women's chorus, just trying it different. And it's mainly freshmen in that level, or if they don't want to audition, but they just want to get their choir, you know, their credit, their fine arts credit, and that's um, concert choir. I can see why you, the parents would be very uh, interested in seeing that. And again, as the year goes on, and how many shows do you do in a year? How many uh, performances sure. would those groups do? So we do a concert every quarter. Wow. Um, and then in December and in May, since we are a large department, um, we sell out our shows pretty quickly. So we do two nights of shows to, to fit everybody and, and allow more people from the community. And then besides that, we have Veterans Day. We were in Chicago this year. We performed um, at the Field Museum and in the 360 Tower. Um, what other performances? I would say 
traveling, like Tra for rhythm. Yeah, travel. Oh, sure. And then holiday. holiday. Yeah, we do a holiday tour where we do like 20 shows for yeah. chambers and lions and schools and all of that sort of thing. So I think I saw one you did at the high school where the, some of the Suprema mm -hmm. yes, folks went yes. up. Suprema. And I, th I think Mr. Suber was in the middle of starting a, a, a food fight. Oh, he yeah. went ahead and started throwing, and, and the seniors went, hurled yeah. one back. Snowballs. There were snowballs. Oh, snowballs. Oh, yes. snowballs. Okay, I thought it was food. So, so I, my, forgive potatoes. me for my mistake. So he's a real rascal. Uh, that, you got to uh, watch him. Mr. Suber. Yeah. He, uh, I, excuse me, Dr. Suber, yeah. right? Uh, James, what about uh, middle school? You know, most people kind of get a foundation for maybe athletics and some other things. Were you involved at all at the middle school? Uh, sadly, no. And I really like how you said foundation because that's what I feel like I missed out on the most. Uh, I did not partake at all in choir at all in middle school. And when I joined in high school, uh, let's just say I was a bit unprepared to say the least. Um, and. I'm so grateful for the patience that everyone showed me and to help me out and become better. And I'm here now in rhythm and it's just such a joy. I feel like having that commitment at uh, middle school just helps your development so much. I've seen many people like Abigail here who's been in it the entire time start from middle school. And one of the reasons she got into rhythm like the most prestigious group so early is because of all of her experience. And I think middle school helps with that a lot. Not, not only do you get not only patience with the teacher, but your peers. I mean, you really get to know people, and you know if you're not with it, they'll probably tell you, "Hey, hey James, maybe, maybe uh, you know, you could uh, you know, practice that part or make sure that you're where you're supposed to be and singing your part." Is is that true? Uh, singing's never been the problem. It's uh, <laughs> it's the extracurricular thing. It's more so. Uh, okay. Our dances. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What? What? Do, like when a performance is done, what pride do you get out of out of that? Oh, it's so fulfilling. It's so much effort and work. From we have amazing choreographers come from all over the state to come and help us out. We. It's. N I would say that every single show you see, it's never the same show. Mm -hmm. Even if it's the same theme, like Christmas, it's. A, Every single time, it's something new, it's something unique. And that's because of all the support we get, all the songs, the new choreo, everything. Having it when we're at dress rehearsal, a day before a show, and we're putting it all together on the stage, and we're seeing every other choir, we're seeing new edition for the first time, elite for the first time, and we're seeing our show come together. It's probably one of the satisfying things I've ever experienced in high school. Kaylin, what is the process for choosing? And I think it's probably pretty competitive, the show choir. How do you go about determining uh, your, your performers? Sure. So um, when you come in as a freshman, everyone goes in the same pot. Because okay. I want to watch these kids. I want to see their work ethic. I want to see what they do in my class every day. And then in January, because um, you know scheduling at the high school is crazy, so they have to have those rosters pretty early. Um, we have what I call choir placements. And basically, they come in, they learn um, a song and a dance, a minute or so, mm -hmm. and then I evaluate them. I use a rubric. And so based on how well they sing, how well they move, what their work, work ethic's like, um, we have a sight reading component to it. Um, I then just tally scores, and then I look at what their preferences are. They tell me what their first choice, second choice, and then I try to place everybody. So it's, you know. I guess it's like making the, right, the basketball coach making the right. team. So it's, you know, the goal is everyone wants to be in the top group. And so these guys, both of these ladies making it as a sophomore, when you have, you know, 150 girls, and I normally take, like Lily, I believe you were the only sophomore mm -hmm. to make it. And you had a few. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty, um, it's, it says a lot about them as a performer and about their talent. I think my mouth has just dropped off the floor. Uh, you say 150 students have tried out. Of, of females. Okay. Yeah, we have about girls. 60 guys or so. Okay, okay. Um, well, so that's, 150 that's over 200. girls are going, yeah, right? wow. yeah for one or two spots because it's mainly upperclassmen um, that end up getting in there. So, so how does that make you feel when you, your group has that much notoriety 
and the competition is, is pretty stiff. Um, it makes me proud. I mean, I'm proud of these guys. I'm proud of the culture we've created. They, they're proud of what they do. They enjoy what they do. Um, we always joke, concerts, we call it game day, right? Game day. I'm like, guys, yeah. it's game day. Yeah. They wear their choir swag, you know, their sweatshirts, and um, it's neat. We sang for the Cavs this year. We did the national anthem. Congratulations. And they, it was just, it's just opportunities that I, I tell these kids, you might not, you know, music might not be your career, but you're going to have these memories the rest yeah. of your life. These are going to be your right. best friends that, you know, you remember. So. Did, did someone tell me that uh, you went to Chicago and also is a Disney trip? Yes. In the offing? Sure. So I, I just got back from Florida and I, I did say, say hello to Mickey and, and told him you might be coming. <laughs> nice, nice. Yes, we do, we do Disney every four years. Okay, so wow. they get one chance in their high school mm, career to do that. So we've done different things where we've done um, workshops and performed for these um, the Disney professionals. Um, we've done the, the candlelight processional, which was really, really neat, um, where they bring in celebrities and we do this whole show with full orchestra. Um, so, it depends on the opportunity, but yes, Disney will be of, um, not next year, but the following, so 25, 26. Lily, you're a senior? I am a at senior. At Wadsworth High School. Yes, and sir. What has uh, your experiences in the choirs and uh, maybe musicals meant to you? Choir is, whenever somebody asks my favorite class, I immediately say choir. It's mm -hmm. the best part of my day, mm -hmm. for sure. Um, I've made so many friendship every single like best friend of mine is choir musical and i just think it's such an amazing positive community everyone loves everyone and everyone's really good at constructing each other i think that's definitely mm -hmm. a really good space where people are free to be like open with each other and willing to help each other and i think that just builds really strong friendships especially for me tell me some of the groups that were have been in competition uh, would you send uh, one of your show choir or other groups to uh, like a regional or district uh, tournament somewhere? Oh, absolutely. We actually just, one of our choreographers, his name is JJ, um, he came in the other day, he stopped in for something and he saw our completed dance and he was, he said he was just blown away and that we should compete. Like we would be great at competing. I think everyone's just really good at getting on top of it and knowing their stuff and if someone is very clearly falling behind, then it kind of becomes a responsibility that they know that they have to take care of. And we have competed with Music in the Parks. Oh yeah, um, yeah. We do that usually every year um, at Kings Island and we've oh. received, we've mm -hmm. gotten first place many times in yeah. the superior ratings, so. Um, so it, it really is, it probably makes you, makes you uh, really feel happy and content that it's just not a class that they have, that's ended and they won't refer back to it again. They can go to college sure. and sing. Yeah. Uh, you know, my daughter was in three years and she sings in the choir at, mm -hmm. at her church. And there's just a lot of opportunities, community groups, mm -hmm. uh, you can get in musical theater, and it doesn't have to end no. when your high school's done. Yeah. You go on and on, isn't that right? For sure, it's a lifelong skill. So you learn this and you'll have it, like I said, whether you you're go to college to be a lawyer, but you study music, you know, or study music, you still um, are involved in ensembles and that sort of a thing. So I think it's definitely a huge, you know, yeah. contribution, I guess, to, to you, your guys' life and, and what you got going on. An interesting question I need sure. to fire at you, Kaylin. The people in speech and debate, mm -hmm. choir, band, always seem to do better on standardized tests. Mm -hmm. What is your theory for, for that to be the case? I don't know if I have a theory. I mean, <laughs> it's, it's just statistic, statistically been proven that kids that study music or are involved in the, the fine arts, they just, math, science, um, their scores tend to be higher. If you look at my kids in my top ensemble, most of them are gifted, take you know the most difficult math courses. So I think, um, yeah, it, it definitely helps them tremendously. I think the, the mindset is, oh, I'm gonna be an engineer, I have to take this program, I have to do this, and then that's kind of when the arts and music, sometimes it, they, it, they try to balance it and, and um, are worried about that, but they score the best. And I think music, I mean, think about it, music is, you are counting, there is numbers involved. A lot of it, the brain crossing, you know, it's similarities. I think students that study at a young age start piano super early, you see these like prodigies and stuff, same thing, they just, they tend to test better, do well with, with standardized testing.
my theory, and yeah, I do have me. a theory, I'm is sure. creativity. Mm -hmm. Abigail, it really does, you know, uh, let you think out of the box, mm -hmm. and you can go ahead. And, and my daughter tested very well, and in, in as she became an attorney, and they said, well, what separates you? She says, I was in a speech and debate, and, and I kind of looked at things a little differently, and it really helped her, and she, you know, got a job and then has advanced over the years. Do you, do you see the creativity is involved? I definitely do see that being part of choir it has opened up my mind to be more creative in like all of my classes. I think that instead of focusing on one lens of like the scientific and the STEM of that area, it's show choir has helped me to like think of like it just has opened my mind to be more creative and I think that being part of show choir like I've, I, I've said this before but like just like opening up your mind just just think differently and out of the box. No question. What about your parents? Do they uh, support you and do they uh, are very proud of your uh, musical background? Yes, my parents are very proud of me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> James, what about you? Very, you feel like uh, your parents and maybe even grandparents are supportive oh. and, uh, and, and can't wait to see you uh, in action? Uh, 100%. Uh, they never miss a concert and it's always one of their favorite things. In fact, my mother gets very upset if she doesn't get her favorite seat. Okay, so we'll have to, maybe you could talk to the director about that. Maybe she can uh, put a word good for your mom to, uh, to go get that. But, uh, but also, again, it, it's something you could put down on a resume, and yeah. some kids, uh, and they, as you kind of alluded when you first moved to Wadsworth, some schools don't have uh, a yeah. real uh, music program to speak of, but, but Wadsworth sure does, and that has to make you feel that you're carrying on that tradition. Oh yeah, I feel like that when you put on your resume that you're in choir, the first thing it shows is that you are a team player, you're someone who can work with others, and you're yeah. one that values the group more than your own self. And I 100% agree. I was blown away completely when uh, the fir my first day of choir, I didn't join officially. I auditioned for the musical. <laughs> and, yes. and then she told me that I need to be in choir. Um, Immediately. It wasn't an option. I'm like, no. you're joining. They're like, what's your name? You're in. <laughs> um, That's how so it I got rid of my study hall that I was in, and my first day, we're, they're already learning choreo for uh, the fall concert. Which was? Uh, it was a Bon Jovi medley. Oh, okay. Um, there it is. All right. <laughs> and I, we had a choir in my old school. It was, but by choir, I mean, we all had binders and we'd sing. Mm -hmm. This, it, yeah. I I saw his dancing. I was, I be, I I learned that day that I was born with two left feet. Um, oh, that's the best geez. way I can put it. But because of just all these opportunities and this amazing experience, I feel like anyone, even if you feel like dancing isn't your thing, singing isn't your thing, you can find your place here. You can improve and you can do amazing things. And it's not just because you're doing it. It's because you're doing it with these wonderful people. You know, that's important because we, we don't all stay on the same plane, right. you know, and, and your instructor alluded to that, that she can see improvement as your confidence grows and you can say, well, I did that in that musical and then I can go ahead and, and uh, go ahead and improve and do some other roles. Oh, yeah. She had to look really hard, but <laughs> I think. <laughs> My goodness. <laughs> but, yeah, I feel like also it just works so well with, like, other activities like how we talked about the musicals and all that stuff and speech and debate too nothing builds confidence like being on a stage mm -hmm. i feel like well i, I want to speak too go, go, go ahead i get you're loud yeah okay, <laughs> thanks. um besides the singing and the dancing i mean we do our february show they don't move at all so we try to do all genres of music um from you know madrigals to acapella jazz just giving these kids like I said, you got to eat your vegetables, right? You not you don't always want to eat them, but like trying the different genres, learning sight reading. These kids are learning these skills, um, but they also they're in leadership roles. So I have them like our, we do camps. We have Royal Academy. We do Rising Star Camp. These kids are in charge of these these kids. They're choreographers. They're doing lots of things. So I would just say you guys get lots of opportunities. Oh, yeah. um, outside of just we put on concerts mm -hmm. you know so and if I'm out if I have a sub it's like okay guys like 
Section leaders are, are running their own sectionals. So Abby, she's our alto section leader. She'll take the altos. She's going over parts with them. James is also a section leader in New Edition. So they, they are seeing um, respect from their peers and they're learning what that piece is. So it isn't a study hall. You're going, oh, I'm oh, no. So, oh, oh no, oh no, we work. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Lily, I, I would think it would be, you know, it's really great that you represent the area and the high school going to Chicago and Disney and some of your other activities. That, that has to make you feel like there may be someone visiting from Cleveland or Canton oh, yeah. and said, oh, there, there, there's an Ohio school. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a, well, I know where Wadsworth oh, yeah. is. That must make you feel really good. It's just, I'm so, I think definitely one of the biggest things for me is seeing how advanced our programs are and seeing how many people so far outside of Wadsworth come and see our shows, our musicals, and just talk and talk and talk about it. Like we had, I remember my sophomore year, we had a family come from, oh, where was it? They drove all the way from like Arizona. They oh, drove yeah? all the okay. way here. Wow. And they were like, we used to live here. Like this is one of our, and mm -hmm. it was right after COVID too. So they were like, this is just something like we couldn't miss. And I just think it's really cool for us to have such an advanced program that other people are proud of and want to see. Are you going to continue uh, when you graduate? Are you going to sing in maybe a college group? Or? I am. So okay. um, I'm going to Hawking College. It's down yeah, in Nelsonville. Right, sure. Yeah. Sure. And I'm majoring in culinary arts, but there are two choral programs that they have, and they also have a theater program. And I fully plan on participating in those because my entire high school career, what's your favorite class? Choir. Like it's been, it's been a huge part of my life and the musicals too. Like I, it's singing and dancing and just being a part of such a tight knit, amazing, hardworking community like that. That's just something that I want to keep in my life for as long as I can. You could be the singing chef. I know. Right? There you go. I, yeah. I could be your agent and get you some <laughs> like, along the way. There you go. You're what popular. about that? But it really uh, it is really probably satisfying for you and for other students as well that you're just not done you can go ahead and do and and from there oh, you may church or another group yeah. that you might run into or yeah. hey hey we have a, a little uh, group yeah. here that you want to come and sing with us and yeah. it's really really fantastic and i think one of the coolest things too is seeing all of our like graduated peers who are already off in college mm -hmm. when they come back and tell us how they're still in choir how they're still doing theater even in college like that's just so it just feels good, and it's awesome to see them doing those things still. Caitlin, it seems like uh, your program opens a door, and I, I'm kind of amazed at all the genres, the different things. It isn't just taking the the, the songs from uh -huh. the past and regurgitating them. You're doing all sorts of things, and I, I would think the students would respond well to that. I think so. I mean, obviously, their favorite thing, I would say, is the show choir genre, right. so getting right. to sing and dance. Sure. Um, but we've done, I mean, all kinds of stuff from our ballad. We did a lot of Joni Mitchell this year, right? Oh, yeah. Um, ballads. And um, yeah, I love that they get, you know, I would say in a year they average anywhere from 40 to 45 pieces of music that they've learned. Mm -hmm. So it's not just, you know, we have a 17 minute set and we practice that for eight months. So they get to do, and we keep, like they said, we don't get a study hall. Never. So show ends, it's like, all right, and we move on to the next thing. So it keeps it, definitely keeps it moving. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm sure with the, you know, you sing to uh, older groups, senior citizens, uh, the, the one we had with the uh, Suprema, Abigail, has to make you feel good that they may not, they may not know, you know, they may have trouble remembering things, but boy, you sing a song and, and mm -hmm. they're right there with you. It, it has to make you feel uh, very positive. Yes, it does make me feel very good because my grandma is always in the Suprema audience and okay. she always afterwards, she's always like, that was so good. I really loved it. Like, it always makes me feel good when we can spread joy and spread, you know, make other people feel happy when they don't always have the chance to come see a concert and we give that opportunity to them. So it just makes me happy that they enjoy it. And that, that wasn't 20 or 30 people. That that seemed to be hundreds of yes, people there. Yeah. And, yeah. and again, that uh, do you ever get a uh, little pressure on you that, you boy, you got to make sure you you have your singing voice and you know, yes. your annex and dancing just mm -hmm. perfect. Yes, it can be very stressful and very like nerve wracking, but when you get when you do it a lot, it gets easier each time you do it. Mm -hmm. 
What advice do you have for middle schoolers? You know, they can, you know, they can try things, and you don't have to stay with things forever, right? Right. Um, do choir, do choir, do choir. My, <laughs> my little brother is in seventh grade, right. and he's very like jock, cool kid, and I. He's such, a, he's such a good singer, and I feel mm -hmm. like there are so many kids that know they have potential, but either their friends aren't doing it or like they just don't know if it's right for them, so they won't try. You should at least try. I think it's such mm -hmm. an amazing experience. That's where all of my absolute best friendships have come from. Always the best part of my day, always the part that I look forward to, do choir. It's so so amazing. And, and then you're well-rounded. You can, he can be an athlete, but yeah. he can also That's sing. Right, and it, it just there opens a another door. Concert pianist. Uh, uh, Mike Reed was a defensive tackle yeah. for the Bengals, yeah, 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 yeah. and he was a concert pianist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So he exactly. kind of got the best of both worlds. Exactly. Any suggestions for the, for the middle school uh, that you didn't have? Uh, try it, you uh, know? Try uh, it. Yeah, I agree. I completely, without trying to be a copycat. clone, yeah, a little copycat. Uh, choir just works amazing with everything. You don't have to sacrifice everything you enjoy doing to do choir. I'm in speech and debate, and I have never had a conflict in my life with choir. And I think because of choir, it's helped me build the confidence, built everything that I've needed to succeed. And that includes also speech and debate. That includes anything with people, honestly. I do choir. <laughs> Kaylin, what about the support of the administration and the community? Can you speak it's, to that for oh, a second? Oh, yeah, it's been huge. I mean, they have been since, I've been here for 10 years, and as the program has grown, we, my first year there was 138 in mm -hmm. choir, and now we sit over 200. Um, and they, if we need things, um, they're willing to donate. Like we just, we're gonna get a, um, hoping to get a new digital piano. And so I was like, you know, this is something that we need. And the administrators are like, okay, how can we help? What do you need? Um, they see that these kids work hard. They see that we're putting on um, good, good productions for the community. And I feel like with, um, without their backing and their support, we definitely at Wadsworth are lucky because there are districts that, you know, it's sports, 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 and the arts, no, our community, our administrators, they support the arts and they see what, what um, good is coming out of it for these kids. Well, thank you very much. I learned a great deal and I, I, that's one thing uh, I, I like about this show because I learn a lot, a great deal about our community, and the school system and city government and businesses. Thanks for viewing. And coming up, we were going to see Coach Booth and some other girls basketball players. I was over. You are watching WCTV. Wadsworth Community Television.